Hello, hello, hello. In case you don't know who I am, I am Kavonda L. Rogers, also known as the Bridgecator, and I am owner and lead planner for Weddings and Honeymoons by Vonda. And today I'm going to come to you with um, a little Bridgecation 101, as I call it, which is where I assist brides in helping them visualize, plan, and execute their dream weddings. So, if you're watching this, you're probably a bride or you know somebody who's a bride or you may be a groom who knows but you're watching this to get a little information so let's get right into it first we're going to talk about wedding planner myths i myself am a certified wedding planner as well as a designer so there are a lot of myths about what planners do what they don't do just a lot of things going around that are not exactly true so let's dispel those today let's get them gone let's get them out the door so let's jump right into this number one wedding planners are expensive and they only deal with people who have huge wedding budgets totally and completely false there are wedding planners or consultants as they're sometimes called who help brides and grooms or couples in every budget type it's a simple fact of knowing what type of planner that you need to get in touch with depending on the needs for your wedding there are people who specialize in full service which means they'll take you from engagement to honeymoon they handle all the details they walk you through the process they let you understand what's going on they help you create a budget they help you stick to that budget they help you design your wedding um, they bring in the right vendors to help you with your wedding those are full service planners just on a brief overview there are also planners who specialize in month of or sometimes more commonly called day of and they come in after you've done all your planning and help you bring everything together in a nice cohesive package so they're the ones who are going to come in and say oh okay well we mean need to push back your makeup time because that's going to overlap and it'll make us run late so those types of issues they'll come in and handle and make sure everything's going smoothly they'll help you create a timeline for your wedding they'll um over look over your contracts and make sure that you're you have everything that you need in those contracts those are things that month of planners do of course along with handling your rehearsal and handling your day of wedding management there are some consultants who specialize in elopements and pop-up weddings and quickie military weddings so there are all types of planners out there and they have a range of prices so when you go out price shopping or you're looking for a particular vendor to work with you're going to be expecting to pay anywhere from as little for a month of coordinator as as low as twelve hundred dollars and for full service it can go up into the thousands the five and six thousands and it all depends on what your area is what type of of planning you're looking into having and the experience of that particular planner that you're working with so we work with people of all budgets so don't believe that we're just there to take your money and run with it and that brings me to myth number two um i don't need a planner i can do this all myself and save money and eh, no <laughs> sorry reality check it takes anywhere from 300 to 400 hours for a non-professional to prepare to plan a wedding from be start to finish so when you break that down that is 10 weeks at your full-time job and I don't think your boss would be happy to think that you're going to spend the next 10 weeks on his dime planning your wedding so that's a lot of time so what planners do is we are information bases we are the people who know okay this is how much a cake costs a slice yes per slice when you're dealing with wedding cake it's per slice not just this is how much the cake is so they charge you per slice but see I know that because I'm a planner planners also know things about what photographers 
What photographers know how to shoot best in natural light? What photographers deal with photojournalism? What per particular um, photographers deal with storybook weddings? Or, you know, or who has a theme or what people deal with this type of thing. They know how much this person charges. They know who has this particular package. We're a wealth of knowledge. So therefore, we cut down on that time because we go out and we already know who the vendors are in our city. We already know their specializations. So we don't have to spend as much time. So you are paying us to not only save you money, because a lot of times with planners, we have very long-term relationships with the vendors that we work with. And sometimes, sometimes they offer us incentives for our clients that you by yourself planning cannot get. So it's not just about, you know, you can save more money by doing it yourself. In actuality, a planner saves you money. Number three. <laughs> Um, and this is one that I hear from brides all the time. Um, you're going to take over my wedding and I'm not going to be able to make any decisions. No, that is not what a planner does. A planner comes in and takes your vision and makes sure it gets executed. They make sure that if you want to have um, this big Cinderella style wedding, that you can have that or if you want a country rustic chic wedding they know the people in the contacts to make that happen they know that okay there's a difference between vintage chic and rustic chic so it's all about the knowledge that's happening with the planning process so we're not here to take over your wedding and make it our wedding we're not here to you know make you choose something that you are not supposed to choose or you don't want to choose we're here as a knowledgeable resource for you to save you time money and of course sanity <laughs> also we get this one all the time number three <laughs> my venue has a coordinator i wrote a blog about this several years ago the catering manager is not your wedding planner. They are sales professionals for the venue that they are servicing, which means they know about weddings at their venue. They may kind of know about other vendors, a photographer who's come here a whole bunch of times, or they may know about a florist who's come and dropped off things a whole bunch of times, but they don't know the ins and outs of this particular vendor. They have no idea how much that vendor charges. They have no idea whether or not that vendor fits your style of wedding. They don't know anything but what comes across their venue. Now they know everything from top to bottom about their particular venue, but they don't know how it relates to your wedding. And most importantly, their first priority is their venue, not your wedding. So that's something you need to be very clear about. And in a lot of times it expresses it in the contracts. They try to be helpful to you because you are renting their particular venue for your event, but their allegiance and their loyalty is to their employer, which is that venue. Number four, and this is my personal favorite. Well, I hired all the other vendors. They'll make sure my wedding comes together. What? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> they your photographer knows nothing about flowers. Your florist knows nothing about photography. Neither one of them are experts in making up a timeline, making sure everything starts on time. And your photographer cannot be in charge of making people walk in on time. They can't be in charge of making sure that your mother gets that corsage pinned on her. That is not their job. And there is a common saying, it says, stay in your lane. And when you're dealing with wedding vendors, a lot of times they want to stay in their lane. And I'm quite sure when vendors across the board have stories about when they've had to step in and fill in the shoes, but that's not what they're paid to do. So you want your wedding professionals, your team of wedding professionals needs to be focusing on their their specific job within the totem pole that you don't need your photographer worrying about flowers you don't need your floors worrying about catering you don't need anybody doing anything outside of their lane and when you hire a planner 
that planner comes in to ensure that all of those people work together flawlessly for your perfect day without anybody stepping on anybody else's toes with everybody knowing what they need to do and how they need to do it also number five i can do it all myself between me my mom my bridesmaids we can all get everything together we're going to have these big parties sorry another myth and pipe dream your family loves you your friends love you but there's a difference between you being together for a couple of hours on a Saturday, stuffing the envelopes for your invitations and getting them mailed off, and them helping you make 25 of the most intricate centerpieces that you've seen on Pinterest. I don't care how much food you bring them. I don't care if you're buying pizza or caviar. People have a limit to how much they're going to be invested in your day. And they don't want to see you stressed, but at the same time, they don't want to take on your stress. And those type of issues are stressful. And believe me, I have a portion of my company that targets DIY brides, and I love DIY projects. I have them all over my home. I have them all over my office. <laughs> but if you're not a person who does DIY on a regular basis, your wedding is not the moment to try and strap that onto your back. So remember that when you're doing these intricate things that, and, and we're talking about several things because there are several portions of a wedding that need to be created. You need to create your invitations. You need to create your programs. You need to create your centerpieces. Then you have to take all this stuff and put it in a room in a fashion that's symmetrical and beautiful. That's a lot of work and that's a lot of hours. Going back to that three to 400 hours, well, setting up and creating all that stuff is part of that. So can you imagine having to ask your friends and your family to work a full-time job with you in addition to the jobs that or careers they already have? That's a bit much. So in the end, the amount of money or the amount of time that you're spending trying to do it all yourself, you can pay someone and save money and time and stress by just bringing someone in to at least help with some of your projects. So those are the myths about wedding planners and the things that are truth as opposed to fiction. So when you're getting out there and you're starting on this wedding planning journey, choose your battles carefully. If anything, you can go and meet with a consultant and they can give you the information. They're called getting started packages or they're called bridal boot camp packages. I call them bridal boot camp packages where you come in and you pay a fee that can range anywhere from $150 to $500 depending on your area. And that will just allow you to sit down and get some basic knowledge of what you're getting into. There are so many things that are available and I have hundreds of planning um, sisters and brothers in the industry who, if you're not in my particular area, which is Central Alabama, who can help you with that and get you started on the right path. You don't have to do this by yourself. It doesn't have to be stressful. You're going into a life-changing moment. So why be stressed out before you even get there? So those are my tips for me, the bride cater, uh, Calandrell Rogers, owner of we Weddings and Honeymoons by Vonda. And look forward to some other Bridgecation 101 series coming to you. And we're also going to have some Bridgecation events in 216. So if you're in the Central Alabama or North Florida area, which are the areas that I service, look for those events where you can come and you can do Q&As and ask me and other wedding professionals about things to get your wedding done and get it off to a right start. But most importantly, I love y'all like pound cake. And I look forward to hearing from you. Ask me questions. Hey, my email's below. And most importantly, make it bondiful. Love y'all. Bye.